one of the coverages that is important to be able to manipulate every single year is the Tampa 2. We're going to show you how to manipulate it in this video. Tampa 2 is one of the best ways to get stops consistently just because you can oftentimes blitz from this. So we want to have a way to really manipulate this coverage. And the best way to manipulate cover two in this game is actually to play Vert's half back under in the Colts playbook. This is in bunch off set formation. If you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, the link is going to be in the description below. And I've been updating it a ton here at the start of the year for you guys. School members get access to all of our ebooks, all of the updates to those ebooks, and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. So make sure that you're in that school community. Now, I want to show you something that happens when people press. A lot of people are going to be running baseline this year. If they press out of a cover two and a baseline look, this is an automatic big play. Notice my bunch is to the wide side of the field, and this glitchy fade on the left side can be free formed to the left and really can manipulate that deep half. That deep half will really never get there as long as you freeform it far, like as far left as you can and really get it into that unique area of the field. Now, let's say that they, let's say that they you know, aren't baseline and you can experience like some level of rerouting and they even bring the safety down here. So if they are not, if they are not baseline and you can experience some kind of rerouting on that outside, that's okay. What we're going to get here is it's going to press and then you're going to be able to freeform it. The biggest thing is we want that safety to turn his hips to the middle of the field. If we can get the safety to turn his hips to the middle of the field, that is what's going to open up this window to be able to throw this ball. So we literally aren't even doing anything. We're just calling this play. Now I am going to show you uh, what happens here. This is probably the best chance that they have, and that is to back off this outside uh, player or leave him backed off. Let me actually just drag him back here. Um, but basically just leaving him backed off. This is the best chance they have at properly defending this play. So this outside cloud will kind of hang with him long enough, and then you see that there is this window, though, over the top that we can hit. And again, what's happening is the crosser is pulling the safety to him in the play. So we're just going to wait on this safety to turn his hips to the inside. Once he does that, we're going to throw this to the outside, and you see there that's where it can kind of get dicey, especially with a backed off safety look. This, this is where we need to kind of make some adjustments to make this play a little bit better. So there's one adjustment we can make that will make this play a little bit better. A lot of times you can fit this in over the top anyway, as you see right there. The biggest thing, again, like I said, is getting the safety to look inside. So the adjustment that I like to make occasionally just to make this a little bit easier is to streak my running back. This is also a really good blitz beater. But if I do this, the safety will be forced to turn his hips inside. See, I turn this, once he turns his hips inside, I can rack catch this or just possession catch it for a big hitter, and this becomes a, a, a big, big play. Another thing you can do this year uh, is these seam wheels to the running back. So seam wheel the running back on the left. You see there, safety turns his hips inside. Just kind of helps manipulate that safety a little bit more, and you're out against this cover two. All in all, cover two is not really that good of a coverage for bunch, but people will go to it out of, to try to get pressure out of it. If they have a soft squat on that side, using the wheel route is really good because the soft squat will go to the wheel, and then this becomes wide open over the top. So in general, this is the easiest way to bomb this coverage. If you really want to manipulate it even more, you can motion the running back out into the flat, and now this really will manipulate that cover too. And you'll see here, you know, very simple, easy reads for your, for your quarterback. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you guys want to check out my entire Colts offensive ebook, uh, I'll put a link to that in the description down below. It's only 10 bucks to join the school community, and it gets you access to all of the Madden and College Football 25 offensive and defensive ebooks.